Hello, this is Greg Gilbert, host of Python's Paradise and co-producer of 13 Fanboy. We are at the end of June 2020, and uh, I haven't been able to do any interviews because I don't have a station access right now, but I thought for something a little different, why not? Um, while we're dealing with COVID-19, I would do some of my hauls from conventions. Now, um, I'm going to be 48 uh, this, uh, in July, and uh, until 2017, I hadn't been any further than Prince Edward Island. Uh, from Fredericton, I've been to St. John Moncton, but but in 2017, well, actress Lisa Langwa, who I loved in class of 1984, invited me to Horrorama. I couldn't say no. First time on a plane, first time I've seen escalators since the 80s. Uh, here in Fredericton, so um, I went and I had a blast, and um, I'm gonna do a try to do a nice quick haul on my 2017 run. Um, I've been to Horrorama three years, so this video here is gonna be my 2017 run where I insisted Lisa Langwa at Horrorama. And as you can see, I'm wearing the Horrorama T-shirt. You know, Horrorama was founded by Chris Alexander, of uh, formerly of Fangoria fame, and uh, Louis Serez of Suspect Video, who's been a guest on the show twice. Now, I'll start you off. I should show this first. This here come with uh, the bag that we got with the material. You see, we got these... <laughs> You know, these little, uh, horror rama bags. Go hang on the door there. So this here is the host of people. So this is going to be their Ashley Simpson of Human Centipede making her first appearance. We got Mink Stool of Pink Flamingos. Uh, Frank Helen Letter, a director of Brain Damage. Uh, Vernon uh, Wells, a Broad Warrior. Carl Zittier, composer of Black Christmas. John Harrison of uh, Effects. You got Lisa Langwa, class of 1984. Leslie Donaldson of Curtains. Uh, John Russo, Night of the Living Dead. And uh, we got Ryan Brown, who I'll talk more about in my 2018 haul because I've gotten to know him a lot better. And we have Mike Deanna who's an artist right there, and uh, Lisa Petrucci. Petrucci, I probably got that wrong. So that was in uh, November 4th and 5th, 2017, and that was a lot of fun. So I'm going to start off by sharing the signed Blu-rays I got, but I did get this. Unfortunately, I ran out of money, so I did not get Frank Helen Lauder to sign this, but it was screened while I was there, and it was such a bizarre movie I had to get it, so brain damage. This is hilarious. Put that aside here. Now, Black Christmas. This right here, this movie right here is signed by... Uh, Martha Gibson. Martha Gibson, I met the 2018 horror rama. So that's so. And you got Lynn Griffin. Lynn Griffin was at the first horror rama in 2014. I was not present. What had happened is that um, since I was uh, in Lisa Langwa at Lisa Langwa's table, uh, Lisa showed me a lot of Toronto and how to use the subways and streetcars. And I went with Lisa when she got her pictures, uh, picked up her pictures and stuff. So I helped her out a lot. But Lynn Griffin and her husband, Sean Sullivan of Ski Patrol and Wayne's World, they were at Horror Hound the same week. And they had contacted Lisa to find out when I was leaving Toronto to go back to Fredericton. So, um... We met at a very nice restaurant, I forget the name, but uh, Lynn Griffin had signed my Black Christmas for me. So there you go. And here's another Black Christmas, another version of it. 
Now this one here has three names on it. Of course, you got Martha Gibson. You got Carl Zittier right there. And uh, we got Lynn Griffin, who writes to Greg Love Lynn Griffin. I'll try to show these as best I can. But yeah, that was fantastic. Also, I met John Harrison, and uh, I'd never seen the movie Effects before, but it was screened along with Brain Damage. This was at his table. He was selling copies of these, and I got him to sign this. You know, to Greg, thanks, John Harrison. This was an early film with Tom Savini as well, and a very interesting movie. Very low budget, but uh, very interesting. Uh, John Harrison signed this. Class of 1984, of course. This is a major favorite of mine. I take it out here. Okay. I met um, Erin Noble in the film uh, last year. I She wasn't at the event, but Lisa and I met her. And... Uh, you can see there probably barely, but the pen wasn't very good. But Aaron Noble had signed it, and uh, Lisa Langwa had signed it in here. And of course, there's Lisa as a uh, Patsy. So that went very, very well. And uh, another signature. This is Curtains. I love this film. I just discovered it less than 10 years ago. I enjoyed it very much. You got To Greg with Love, Lynn Griffin. She signed that at the restaurant. And uh, Leslie Donaldson's signature is right there. And uh, Paul Zaza signed it down in here. I met him at the 2019 Horrorama. So this has got three signatures on it. I think that might be it, but three signatures on uh, curtains. And while I met uh, Lynn Griffin, she signed Strange Brew. And of course, uh, some silver uh, marker right there. So there you go. She had good things to say about these movies. Now, her husband, of course, is Sean Sullivan who's got the faces on the side of his head in, uh, in uh, Ski Patrol. But he's also the drunk guy, the intoxicated guy in Wayne's World. So uh, he signed this for me. Uh, to Greg, party on Sean Sullivan. In that movie, he partied on too much, but there he is. And he also signed this. Because he's in this film, too. Um, I cannot, off the top of my head, think of the guy that he played. A major artist and filmmaker. And I, he's only seen briefly, but uh, I got him to sign my 54 Blu-ray. Yep. It's hit to Greg Party. <laughs> well, 54 was a party. Also, I'm going to show you some... Uh, well, here's something I did pick up. I think I'll show you is uh, I don't really collect Fangoria, but if I see something that's got some uh, interesting items on it, then uh, I'll grab it. I saw these there. Halloween 5, Michael Speaks. I don't think he ever spoke, but whatever. So I grabbed that there. Halloween 4. This was there also. Long time, no kills. This might have came with the bags, I'm not sure. And uh, this has got the Lost Boys on the cover. I'm more of a Fright Night person, but the Lost Boys is certainly very effective as well. So there you go. 
this is great. This uh, I got there as well. There you go. And I grabbed this one. Halloween 2. I've interviewed Dick uh, Dick Warlock, who uh, played Michael Myers in Halloween 2, and uh, I love that poster. So uh, I got that. In addition to that, um, I did get my picture taken with a lot of the performers that were there, the artists were there. Uh, I won't be featuring them right here, but uh, I got a lot of photos that I'm more than happy to share. Starting off, Lisa Langwa. She's become a wonderful friend. I've known about class of 1984 since I don't know how long. And um, this is just uh, fantastic that I'm able to uh, be friends with her. And I loved uh, her, loved her as Patsy, but... I assisted her at her table and helped keep her table arranged and stuff. And and uh, she she basically showed me my Toronto. I'm more versed in Toronto than I could ever thought possible. And uh, like I said five years ago, I would have never thought I'd even travel. But she signed one of every picture she had. And um, here she is. They all say the same thing to Greg love Lisa and that's a, that's a great picture of her and uh, that's a great picture of her a lot of headshots I went with her when she uh, got these picked up because uh, good me gave me a chance to see the city plus uh, help her lug some of the stuff around and That's a good picture of her, his headshot, and uh, there we go, stunning. Lisa's aged beautifully, I'll say that. There you go. Lisa was especially giving to uh, people with disabilities. Um, she, she would always go out of her way to make sure that people with uh, disabilities got uh, served. There we go. Hope those are coming in nice for you. And uh, here she is. Isn't now, I think that is from the slugger's wife, if I remember correctly. Because Lisa can also sing. There you go. I guess her son recommended this picture, but uh, I forget the name of the movie. But there she is. Seen better days. Now her son says that this is her worst movie, Fire Serpent. And she... I haven't. I've only seen bits and pieces. Um, he could be right. I don't know. <laughs> there she is, uh, sweating, waiting to get out of that predicament. There she is with Michael J. Fox, class of 1984, before the chaos. By the way, while I was in Toronto, Lisa had taken me to the locations for Class of 1984. So we saw the house that Perry King and Mary Lynn Ross uh, lived in, their characters. And we went to the school. So that was pretty interesting. And I love this shot. Her signature's right up in there. I don't think Patsy was an A student. Love this photo here. Always love the red hair that she sports in this movie. There you go.
Now, she hates this movie, and for good reason. Invisible Man movies should be fun. This movie was just shit. But uh, this is from The Man Who Wasn't There. She loves Steve Gutenberg. But uh, this was the worst movie experience of her career. I've seen the movie. I think it's horrible. But uh, she had a good working relationship with Steve. Um, but this nightmare experience. And I'm pretty sure when I interview Art Handel, I'll probably hear more how bad that was. I didn't like the film. Let's see. This is probably from Happy Birthday to Me, but uh, I guess she didn't sign that one. She's flipping through so many of them. Speaking of Happy Birthday to Me, this is a set, a set photo. She signed it over there. You got Leslie Donaldson down there. Now, this is a nice photo. Here she is in Phobia, a film that she did with uh, for John Houston. Here she is with Louis uh, Gossett Jr. I forget the name of the film, but uh, there she is. She liked working with him. And Tony Curtis. There you go. And she did a couple of films with uh, French director Claude Chabrol, including... Um, Blood Relatives, and uh, Violet. So, uh, yeah. So those were all of my Lisa autographs that I got. Also, I got a number of autographs at the, the event. He was a lot of fun, Vernon Wells. I've interviewed him. He is a, a really nice guy, despite playing a lot of villains, but he was a lot of fun. He enjoyed Mad Max Fury Road, but here he is from the Road Warrior. It says, Greg, you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> and there he is. He doesn't have the haircut anymore, but <laughs> but that was a, he was a fun guy to meet. And, of course, John Russo, Night of the Living Dead. He says, uh, to Greg, ghoulishly yours, John Russo. I haven't had him on the show yet, but uh, give it time, give it time. Now, Leslie Donaldson signed some photos for me. You know, on the, when I did this event, Lisa and Leslie were both on my show twice. Since doing Horrorama 2017, I've had Vernon Wells on, I've had Ryan Brown, I've had uh, John Harrison, Carl Zittier. They've all been on the show. Leslie Donaldson signed a freebie for me as well. She's also aged very nicely. It says, to Greg, with love, Leslie Donaldson, from Happy Birthday to Me. Leslie attracted a lot of the people dressed up in the costumes, like the Freddy Krueger costumes. She interacted a lot with them. Here she is again. Another picture of Leslie Donaldson. And here we go. I got another one of her. Leslie is very, very photogenic. And of course, I haven't seen Human Centipede. I'm a little squeamish to watch it. I don't know. But Ashley C. Williams, I think they said this was her first con, or at least her first one in Canada. She was gorgeous. And I had to go meet her, and uh, I did. got her to sign that. And uh, there you go. I had to go meet her. And then, of course, Mink Stole. <laughs> That was from Female Trouble. I never did get Mink Stole on the show, but uh, I countered that by getting um, Max Mueller on the show in tribute to his mother, Cookie Mueller, who was the chicken victim in Pink Flamingo. So, but nonetheless, I got that signed. Uh, she didn't like looking at her own pictures. 
I tried to show her the picture we did together and she wouldn't have it. But uh, there she is. That's a, <laughs> a face only a mom could love, I guess. <laughs> and I uh, got some little additional stuff too. Oh, wait, before I do that, before I do that, I did mention that we met Lynn Griffin and Sean Sullivan at a restaurant. Yeah, they were at Horror Hound that weekend in Chicago, so they wanted to know when I was leaving. So we met, uh, I think, the day before I left. And it was... Uh, she, uh, Lynn Griffin brought a bunch of stuff back, and she signed it. This one right here from Black Christmas. It says, To Greg, you leave me breathless. Love, Lynn Griffin. There you go. And then she did this one from uh, Strange Brew. Looking very presentable there. There she is. says, To Greg, take off, a eh? Love, Lynn Griffin, playing on the whole Canadian thing. And, uh, and from Curtains. I love Curtains, despite its troubled production. There you go. I love the little doll figure there in the corner. And it says, To Greg, I am Audra. Lots of love, Lynn Griffin. There you go. Also had Leslie Donaldson in it as well. Now, before I close off this video, I'll show you some other Tim bits I got. Lisa always wanted me, like, um, of course, I helped her at her table, but she'd have me go around to see if there was any uh, merchandise out there that she could use at future uh, signings. Excuse me. And I got this. I got her got a couple of these, but I got one for me as well. Look at that. Class of 1984. This is beautiful. It says, To Greg, love Lisa Langlois. And there you go. I got her one of these as well. They actually have one of blood relatives there too, and it's kind of a rare rarity for her to get one of blood relatives. Now this has got a story. For the after party for Horror Rama, we went to a uh we went to a strip bar, believe it or not. And uh the whole thing was about, uh, let's see if I can find it here. Because I'm pretty sure I could explain it better if I found the, the stuff that goes with it. Yes, I can. Right here. This was the after party, and uh, Mink Stool was going to be singing the Filthy Cabaret. And uh, John Zittier, or Carl Zittier, excuse me, was doing the, the music background. And uh, she sang. Anyway, afterwards, uh, a drag queen got up there dressed as Divine from Pink Flamingos. And he sang a rendition of Lollipop. And he pulled this out of his crotch. This is just a stuffed toy, by the way. It's not even real blood. But he had this thing, and he whirled it up above his head, and he let that thing go, and it sailed across the room. It hit me in the shoulder and dropped at my feet. I looked down, I looked up, and everybody was staring at me. Anyway, I bent down, picked it up. Everybody, Lisa Langwa, I... I thought she was going to fall off her chair. I would never heard her laugh so hard. Even if I bring it up to her today, she laughs, you know. And um, I don't think she could contain herself for the rest of the night. She asked me what I was going to do with this. And I was like, I don't know. See who was naughty at Christmas time. Maybe my cat. I don't know. But uh, I think it was Leslie Donaldson or Mink Stool. I think it was Leslie Donaldson walked by me and she goes, uh, you're not in Fredericton anymore. So I've kept this. <laughs> but I uh, just remember Lisa laughing. And uh, me of all people. 
but yeah, that was at the Filthy Cabaret. Um, I have a few things in this bag that came with the Horrorama stuff. I haven't opened this. Transers 2, Helen Hunt's in it. I don't know. It doesn't look that good. Maybe sometime I'll open it and check it out. And, uh... Royal Theater, they, they put on, um, I love that theater, they put on Pink Flamingos, and Mink Stool did a Q&A at it, and uh, Lisa and I went, Lisa had not seen Pink Flamingos, I had seen it once before, and um, it's interesting, Lisa did not like the movie, but she did remark how young Mink Stool looked in the movie, so it was an interesting audience, interesting film experience. Paintball Nation. Oh, this Mink Stool was given these out at her table. Little cards. Pink Flamingo. There's Divine. <laughs> that is one twisted movie. And, uh, you know, we got one of these, of course, booklet that's got, uh, you know, all this stuff and there's the filthy cabaret and all the comings and goings of what was going on at that event. And uh, a couple of other doodads. That's about it. That's about it. So that is my 2017 Horrorama run. And uh, I had fun. I had a blast. Toronto's like a second home to me. And uh, this was uh, this was a lot of fun to do, so uh, I'll be back. I'll share my 2018 and 2019 hauls and my trip to uh, Comic Con in 2018, and and uh, share with you what I got at those. So hope you're all staying safe and healthy during this ugly coronavirus situation. But I'll be back on air as before too long. I hope. I'm not done yet, but uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go torment my cat with this. I'm sure he'll love that. Peace out.